share this live to Facebook so long. I'm going to start jumping into it once we have at least 20 people here. I'm going to start talking about it. I'll give it a few minutes now to share the fucking things so long. That would be great. Thanks. We both started investing I don't know what the fuck it was about my brothers and sisters. Share the live so long wherever the fuck you are. Just make sure you're sharing it. Um, So I'm just making notes before we start, my brother, my only brother that's here. Let me get up this fucking chat on my ear also. Hey, Ambrams. For Cosmark, XZ, Sway the Reaper, can't wait, let's see and learn. Remember you have to share this live so more people come. I'm not just sharing this cock with three of you. If not enough people come, I'm not doing this, you know what I mean? And man, I just had a fucking mess happen, you know? <clears throat> um, natural. I can't even remember what everything's going to be about, let me check with you. Remember when you come here, like the video and share it so that just we can get a few people here. My name is this guy's I mean it's not like it's burning. Why are you not making money? Why is it in your industry in Cape Town? Yeah. Why no industry? Say your name once you come in the chat so I can see you all. Alright, if you hear. And I'll give you a lot to shout out as well. Why learning or being teach? Yeah. Important, I think that's the most important part of being teachable. Say so your name once you're here so I can see if you're here. Welcome, welcome, those of you who are joining. I want to just know who's all here. Oh, Peter, this rest of me is uncle. I am Rams is a member. For those of you who are here so far, You'll see at the bottom if you want a PC specifically. You'll also, I'm going to put the link in the, in the chat quickly. It's going to be the first link. How to become a member. Um, so basically there's two tiers, right? What the fuck? There's two tiers once you sign up. You get Kotsoki, which is the entry level motherfuckers, the basic bitters. If you're basic butts, what you get is you get what you get and you don't get upset. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Let me close this quick. So basically, as a basic bit, a court soki, you get to join the WhatsApp group, right? Where we discuss things. And it's up to you if you keep it exclusive or if you share it to everybody like a poops, all right? Over there, we discuss what's happening next. You let me know what's popping and what's hot because I don't fucking know these things, all right? Um, you also get to suggest one music video every month, all right? That I will react to. Also, I choose more from the suggestions in the Kotsoki group than I do anywhere else, all right? You get a badge next to your name. You see the people whose names are in green in the chat? You see the people with a little badge? It means they are members for a while. That badge's color changes a year from now. It's going to be a color that none of you are going to have. You're not a fucking member. You know? And you get to see the stuff first. Basically, we discuss what's coming up next. And you let me know. You guide me. Right? Second of all, you become a main kunain, which is even better. You are the main kunain, the most important person in this community. 
as a main kin and you get all the perks of the other people. Right? Of the Kotsokis. Also, you get to suggest two videos a month that I will react to. You get the most important part of it all is you get to spend one hour one on one with me every month where I sit down and guide you and share my experience and my knowledge that I have and the links and the network that I have with you to help you and guide you through this fucking treacherous journey of being in the music and entertainment industry. But also what's more than just that, I don't just do it in the fucking music industry. What you learn here, you can apply all over. So every Monday night we go live, right? And I, we talk about things that you guys suggest and I put out a voting thing. The members get more say. And you and I'm going to start soon. So the first link, the pin link over there. Ah, click on that if you want to become a member. Uh, let me check the... Hey, 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 say your name when she's here. So I know you here. Before we start, I'm going to give it another... Up to 15 likes and I'm going to start. So it's up to you to share the, share the word. Share the live and all that cut. Keep going, I'll set up that one on one with you soon. Uh, it's 7 a.m. over here now. That's why I didn't reply the last time because it was a bit fucking early. Um, five more likes and I'm gonna start. Miles is here. Cynical is here. I Ambrams is here. Put your fucking name down, Faisal is here. Or are you too fucking cool to drool? Here's the other thing also. These ma these nayas are so fucking cool. Simple instruction. Just a simple thing. Put your name down. Uh-uh. I don't wanna. I'm here to lure and to spy and to take you for a night afterwards. Is it the Capricorn Ray is here? We need five more likes before I start this bitch nigga. Um, and I'm gonna talk about the main topic is gonna be Silver Cricket TV is here. The main topic is going to be how to make money with music, you know? Um, I also want to know how you are making money to so share some of your experience and and and, as, and and I think the biggest problem is Brainchild media is here. I think the biggest problem is we think if I hold on to this knowledge I'm gonna have all of it. I can't share it with you because then you're gonna make more than me. That's cuck. That's not how it works I'll get deep with it also if you want to but it's not that fucking deep But the point is whatever I hold on to I'm not gonna get back just think about that. Put your name in the comment section if you're here. I want to see your bitch face talking and engaging and interacting. I'm also going to say, do you pay for features? Do you pay producers for the beats? Do you pay people who contribute to your fucking craft? Uh, Mustafa Alexander is here. I don't trust everybody. You know, and then... Why is it no industry? Or why does it seem like there's no industry? And then the most important thing is the importance of being teachable. Two more likes and I'm going to start. Brother, you. Yeah, it's like you sitting on your couch. Like the night video. And brother, you. Lying in your bed with your taranki on. Like the fucking video and put your name in here. Put just put your fucking name in the chat so I can start. Okay, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna start. So can you guys in the comment section tell me how are you currently making money of music while you wait for the 15th? Like, if you don't engage, I can't have this conversation because. If I start talking cuck and you don't say if I'm talking right or wrong and then what the fuck, what, what the fuck am I doing here, you know? Um, Keenan's laughing him, Silver Cricket says he pays for everything. Tell me if you are making money in the comment section, I want to see something. I'm going to give you like one or two minutes. Just say yes or no. Are you making money off of music at the moment? 
I want to see something. And don't make me wait fucking forever for this cock because you're wasting valuable time. Maybe I'm going to start to the importance of being teachable. Mustafa is now. Hipkoi is hosting events. Okay. You can note here. Okay, let me let me rather let me rather start out like this. Alright, because I don't know what the fuck is. So I was gonna talk about the importance of being teachable last, no? Um Cynical, I asked you, are you making money from music? I didn't say district kid, I didn't say 80 cents. Focus, brother. So the importance of being teachable. What does it mean to be teachable? You, if you define humility, the definition of humility is being teachable. Humility is knowing what I can and can't do. Some people like to walk around saying they're humble, but that's not what humility means, right? Being teachable is one of the biggest tools that we have as human fucking beings. When we are babies, we know fuck all, Jon Snow. We know absolutely fuck all. We then need to learn how to talk. How to take the spoon and push it in my mouth somehow. And, it, and it's difficult. It takes about two to three years to learn something that's as basic as that in my mouth. It takes about two to three years to learn how to say your poos. Then it takes me another five years to learn how not to say your poos in front of people. Then it takes me about 15 years after that to get confident enough to say your poos whenever the fuck I want to say your poos. So learning is so fucking important in order for us to get to where we're at, right? The most important part of earning a living is to be teachable. If you've never been a painter a day in your fucking life and you're going to go paint today for the first time. And the brother has to tell you so. So my brother Faisal, what you do with the quest? He said, no brother, don't teach me. I'm not a stupid. You're not going to paint right. He's not going to pay you properly. You need to be teachable. I'm not saying I know everything. But what I do need, I know how to make money off of music. And in, in various parts of the industry. There's this misconception that music is only being the performer. That's not music. Music is more than just being the performer. Sure, the performer, the brow with the mic, the girl with the mic, the person in front, they get all the credit and all the awards and all the accolades and all that crap. The reality is you're going to make more money off of music once you let go of the mic. That's just how it works. You know what I mean? Don't believe the hype. Being the push of the mic isn't the only way to do this, Right? So the most important the most important and most difficult part of the music industry is being teachable. If you're not teachable, you're not going to learn. You're not going to know how to change your approach. You're not going to learn what works and what doesn't. A question for everybody in the chat. If you know everything, can you learn anything? Sounds like a basic fucking teacher question to ask. But if you know everything, will you learn anything? Tell me in the comment section quick as I read here. Miles is just starting, but now he's not making money. Silver Cricket shows in apparel. Faisal Williams, he doesn't make money. Uh, Silver Cricket says, currently no COVID my cuck, my decent money pre-co with 50k up a year. Again, I'm not going to say that anybody are lying in here, but I have trouble believing people sometimes, not all the time. Question, answer in the comment section. If you know everything, can you learn anything? And then that's the thing, like I'm trying to teach you something, right? If you don't engage as I ask you to, you're not going to learn as much as you can. Like I teach better if you actually engage and I know that you're listening. Because if you just sit there, just watching and not like it's not that difficult to type in o or a y for yes you know what i mean just let me know plus you get nice that thing learning makes you push we've got this misconception that if you learn you're fucking stupid and you're not if you don't want to be taught then you're fucking stupid
Did I did I do the explanation about being a pilot? I didn't explain to you guys the importance of being a pilot, but it's okay. So do you understand how important it is to be teachable? Because you learn every day, you're not trying to young or old to learn anything. No. But just understand the importance, like how important it is to be teachable. Without that, none of this means fuck all. You can pay all the money in the world to have the best teachers, the best equipment, but if you're not teachable, my brother, you won't learn fuck all. Kerwin says no. Hipkoi says no. Keenan Hines says no. You cannot learn anything if you know everything. Kerwin Adams says plus you cannot learn anything if you know. Ugh. Plus you get nicer thing. Learning makes you a puss. Miles is because we don't know. If you know everything, why do you need to learn? That's why we must hear. Brainchild, no, because a swarm of water... And a cup into a hoi with cloud fall is basically it's difficult to throw water into a cup that's already full. But that's a problem. The cup isn't even full. And, and it has fuck all in it. I'm not making money. I gave my last 20 bucks to you. Um, you can't know everything ever. By the way, nobody likes a small days. <coughs> so investing in your heart. So I asked earlier, do you guys pay... Or do you get paid? So I want to know, do you pay? So how many rappers are in here? Tell me if you're a rapper. Tell me if you are a promoter. Hipkoi, what's the average that you pay the artist? And it's not a secret. I can go ask any rapper now how much you get paid. They lie to me. Whatever they tell me they get paid, I'll divide it by two. And then I'll still not have the honest answer what they're getting paid. What is the average amount that you pay the performers, Hipkoi? Rappers, how much do you get paid? Put in the comment section, beat maker, and then what you charge for a beat. Put in the comment section, rapper, and what you charge to perform, or what you charge for a feature. If quite, let me know how much, the, what the average is for, for rappers. Cohen Adams, 1,500 performance. So 750, sometimes if you're lucky. I'm a rapper, producer, videographer, and I still get none. Whose fault is it that you get nothing, cynical? I'm also a rapper. Made it in time, Mr. Miles. The fucking reality is, Young Captain, you perform for free, brother. You're not gonna get paid. Because people don't wanna pay you. They'd rather get somebody to perform. That's gonna do it for free. Then your fucking stake of free also who doesn't want who wants to get paid. Silver Cricket TV rapper is that is that Silver Cricket is I say no. That's just based on what some of my bras are based me they get Nyman and Kerwin. Kerwin. Those bras are lying to you, trust me. They can't even be thinking that you know, everything already. Um, rapper 500 to perform, but first performance 300, Mustafa. What's the topic for the conversation? Check in the description, Miles. Um, it's basically how to make money off of music. I normally ask them what the rate is. Some say 500, some say 300. And then the more established ones are 1,000 upwards. But the average is like 500, cynical, yeah, true. No one else to blame but myself doing favor. Now I check, so that's a problem. So imagine... I have a fruit store, right? Um, no, that's even that. Like, imagine I have a fruit store. I'm gonna get to the comment now, um, Brainchild. Imagine I have a fruit store, right? And I have oranges, I have fruit and vegetables, I have oranges, I have onions, I have potatoes, and I have tomatoes. And I ask you 10 rand a bag. For everything is 10 rand a bag. You'll be like, yo, that's fucking expensive. I'll be like, my bro. Did you plant those fucking seeds? Did you water those plants regularly? Did you make sure the soil is nice? Did you make sure those fruit and vegetables get the best nutrients? Did you prune that tree as it was growing? Did you make sure there's no snails eating the fucking leaves? 
Did you then pick the fucking fruit and vegetables? Did you then wash them, put them in packets that you bought with your own money? Did you pay for the water bill to water those motherfuckers? Did you pay for all the nutrients that you put on those motherfuckers? If your answer is no to any of those things, don't tell me how much to charge for my hard work and all the investment that I put into my fucking craft to make sure that you enjoy the best product out there. So if people don't want to pay you for yours, don't drop your fucking price. Simple. But what happens is this. I charge 10 rand. Now our Silver Cricket TV has a stalky right next to mine. The uncle comes to me. He sees prices, says 10 rand a bag. Silver Cricket TV. 750 yo at the pool. Hey, you at the party, girl. 750 a bag. Then I get undercut immediately. So now what must I do? In order for me to stay competitive, I need to drop my prices. But I'm like, nah. I know mine is better than his. His is also good. He put in so much effort. In fact, he's been selling fruit and veg long before me. I must start it after him. He's put in so much more effort. And he's undercutting my price. Because he's not selling any. He's got a family to look after. And he really wants to sell fruit and veg. People are going to go to his because it tastes good and it's packaged nicely. Eventually, I'm like, fuck, nobody's booking me. Nobody's paying for any of my fruit and veg. At the bus, Ava, driver, five in a bag, five in a bag. And then I come with five in a bag after that in order to be competitive or also 750. Do you know what I mean? Then the promoter's like, well, fuck, I only have 250. And nobody wants to pay five rand. So then what am I going to do? Am I going to say no? What's even worse is I'll perform for a whole hour. None of you perform for a whole hour. Don't even talk cuck. And then they say, well, you wanted five rand, but I only have 250. Like, I give them a sucky apples. They eat half of it. They eat the other half. They say, well, fuck. It wasn't as nice as I thought. There's two rand fifty for you. That's literally what happens to the promoters. They become the comment section quickly. Don't undercut yourself. Set your price and stick to it. Who's going to moor you? People might not book you at first. But if you carry on working and you... The unfortunate reality is you're going to have to do some cuck for free. But there comes a time where you're going to have to charge. Whether people want to pay you that amount or not. You know what I mean? Um... There's no two ways. You're going to have to invest money in your craft. I think Silver, who said that they're working for free at the moment? Um, I normally ask them, yeah, true. No one else to blame but myself doing favor. Between five and 3,000, depending on the reach. Brainchild Media. And its artists made the most money in lockdown. When Brainchild and its artists made the most money in lockdown, when most gigs was closed, we worked, and all it took was thinking outside of the box. I charge 50k for hours set. I'm not from Cape Town. Have we seen some of your music, Silver Cricket? Um, some of them are TikTok guys, and some of them get paid more than normal rappers. They were laughed at for being on TikTok. By the way, I get what you're saying. But I get what you're asking. You're not asking for all that cuck. You're asking based on performance. Go and they still don't get that much. Somebody reached out to help me. Mousy record this one song. I haven't put any money into it yet. I first want to know where exactly I should spend it. But how about paying the guys recording it? You make him want to get better at his craft as well. We need to create the industry. Leonard Brown, is it bad to do free shows at the start? It's not bad. But there comes a time we're going to have to make a switch. And decide from here on out, I'm never not charging people again. You have to make a commitment. Otherwise, you're going to do that for free. You know, Lennon. Um, Kerwin, Laverne's comment sounds more legit. It's facts. I can show you a moose. I can tell you all the rappers you know on Facebook. All the rappers you know on Facebook. As in, only Cream might have been paid more than 1,000 rand for a gig. Out of the rappers that you talk to on a regular basis. 
um, brain child, you're gonna get a penalty if you retract your message. Silver Cricket TV, you just 15k for live performances, say, indeed. Silver Cricket, I don't believe you. I'm just gonna say that straight off the bat. I don't believe you. If you charge that good on you, if you get paid that good on you, but I don't believe you. Um, I work for free, Mustafa Alexander. To book Branchel Media Artists, we do a complete costing of doing the gig. First, Uber money, Petro money, etc. So the fees cost plus 600 to 900 equals price. At the beginning, it's performed for free. Just Rush Cap featuring Grow. Just Rush CP featuring Grow. So here's the facts. Um, you're not going to make a lot of money as a rapper. The, the rappers who actually make a living of rap are few and far between. Do a quick Google. How many rappers are on the planet? I'm going to prove something to you now quickly. I'm going to just crush a little fucking lying ass dream about being a rapper and if you're going to make money. How many rappers are in the world today? Bear with me. How many rappers in the world? I mean, this is for Naka Google. I want to show you something. Um, how many not female rappers, nigga? No, there's not. That's fucking bullshit. Okay, we you you know there's a Muslim rappers in the world, right? How many rappers just cut the ease in the world? There's a moose lot of rappers. How many of the rappers actually make a living off it? You know the people that you see aren't even a percentage. Is it isn't even one percent of the rappers on the planet that you see on TV and here on the radio all day? It's not even one percent. In South Africa, there's like I'd say. Five, maybe six rappers who make an actual living off of rap. There's about, there's maybe four people who can buy a house off of rap. And you don't like any of the music. So how do you think you're going to make a living off of conscious rap, brother? So my first suggestion to you, if you want to make money off music, stop. Rapping, my bro. Stop rap. You're not going to make money of rap if your goal is to make a living. Buy a house. Buy an expensive car. Put your child through school. You have, you have, you're more likely to win the lotto than actually do that with rap. Listen to this. Jack Perrow, the Android, started around about the same time with their gimmicks. Right? The Android was doing it for long. Jack Perry was doing it for a while before that. But they started around about the same time with their gimmicks. Jack Perry loves her right. The Android makes a push load of money. They make the money that you think you're going to make. Jack Perry lives like a normal bro, lives down the street. In the house that he bought, working a job. You're not going to make a living off of rap. Not you. Um, do you charge for live performances? I indeed I work for free to book. Just I get junk as well to take a hamster rough. Get a good team. Rapper is a brand. The brand is what brings in the money, not the music. Live shows is alright. Contract is what you want and brand stuff sales cause the brand creates. No, nope. I'm gonna tell you something now, hamster. How where the money comes from? In South Africa, six rappers and one makes music videos. Um, to add on that, he said he'll do the first song for free to show me how it works. The next song, of course, is paid and I plan to pay a music video first or next song. Shout out, J Square Productions. And now, a break from Master Puss Free Good, what they cry, lol. They must good for free cry and the Niners must you betal. And this was now a promoter in company, but the 60% promo like the Niners you betal. Um, most rappers in Africa that's got a bit of money. Most of their money comes from branding and other things. They use their music to sell their brand and shit. So, 
So here's the thing. Um, you have to... If you happen to be lucky enough to make money from rap, right? You're not going to make it off of your music sales or album sales. That's not where the money comes from. None of it comes from album sales. Unfortunately, and, and nobody buys albums. Most of your money is going to come from, from live performances. You know? Um, oh, thank you. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, she was just busy. You know, it was, uh, it didn't work as well as you planned it. Eh? Okay, but now they know what you were doing throughout the first half of the video. Sorry. Um, okay, I got sidetracked. They had a breakfast of champions. Um, Fuck, that threw my whole fucking train of thought of now. My whole train of thought. Before I carry it, I'm going to tell you now exactly how to make money with your music. The first thing, you'll find the first link in the description, become a member, right? Um, as a member, you join either the Kotsokis or the main Kunain. It's not even that fucking expensive. It's pretty much free. Um, as a Kotsoki, you get to suggest one music video a month with your own or friends. It's just somebody who likes. You get to be in the WhatsApp group and we talk. And we um, discuss. You let me know what's hot and what's new and what's amazing, right? We, you get to see music videos and everything first. Before it goes live, the court talkers get to see it. Then the second group is the main good and they get all the benefits of the court talkers. The people with the green names, they are members, right? Sometimes I make polls only for them to vote on as well. So the members get to see everything. The main container get to see everything first, they get to suggest two music videos a month, they also get one hour one-on-one -on -one with me where I guide them and share my experience. So, first link in the description, remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Every Monday I do live and we talk stuff like this, but for the rest of the videos I do at least three a week, where I do reaction videos. This week I'm gonna do War Cry with Crowbars EJ. I'm also gonna do Rands in the West with Ilro and Youngster, and then I'm not sure what the other one is. Um, so, um, but I stay focused away. That's why I keep events now, and that, that just doesn't make something. There's something brew for us at all with this cock bank. I might just have to change my bank. Mark Zimmer over here. That's okay. Sorry, brother. So, there's a rapper who doesn't make the most money. The rapper makes the least money out of everybody in the team. The beat maker makes more money than the rapper. So if you, if, you, if you work out the splits with somebody who made beats, you make more money as a beat maker than you are going to make as a rapper. So how it should work is if I make a beat, I want 50% of the motherfucker all day. You know, I want a massive fucking percentage. The producer normally takes more because <clears throat> the producer will pay for the... <coughs> producer will pay for the beat. You'll buy the beat from somebody. You'll buy the exclusive rights from the beat. You'll pay a session musician to come change something in the beat, right? You'll book the studio with his own money. You'll pay for you to get there. You'll even pay a feature artist to do a feature on a verse. And then that brother wants some of the royalties. You know what I mean? So producer normally takes 50%. The beat maker might take cash or he says, no, nope, I want 25% of the, of the royalties even though it's going to be a hard song. But the user will take 50% of it. Then that 50% you have to split to that guy. The rapper then negotiates how much he wants, you know, if you're independent. So the rapper doesn't make that much money. You make more money as a beat maker. Then this producer make see have a song, an idea for a song. Some people in know would work together. Like I think, I think Cream, and uh, not Cream, um M Joyner. And yeah, and 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 OB, fucking G boy, Van Boom, the two of them together on a number, that's game fucking over. M Joiner, and G boy, if you can make that happen, M Joiner will work with G boy. G boy just said he's open to working with music. Now it's your duty if you call yourself a producer. 
Find a beat that G-Boy is gonna match with the force on. Match with the force. Now you stand with me with the most. That's not my real voice, but get G-Boy. Then you get M Joiner. You pay those motherfuckers cash. You sit back and take 100% of that fucking royalties. You shoot a nice music video. You pay everybody involved. And that will be a fucking hit. And if you want to do it quicker, get early, get some, just get people. You can become, you can shoot music videos. Also, don't let people shoot cock for you for free. If people are doing anything for you for free, look at what they are benefiting from it. I'll tell you, if I have to offer you services for free, I'm going to make sure that I benefit from that somehow. If I come to you and tell you, check it, brother, I want to shoot the music video for you for free. I'm like, really? Yeah, for free. Like, what do you want? Must I say you pill? Like, no, no need for that today. All you must do, I want to upload the video. Why do I want your music video on my channel? Is the to show the world what I do. That's bullshit. If the video that I shoot for you by any chance goes viral, who reaps the benefit? You or me? People will know your name. But I'm gonna get the money on YouTube, not you. So be careful what you do for free. So you can shoot videos. There's so many fucking ways. Don't sleep. What do you do for a job? Let me just come here quick in the comments. I'm getting fucking. I'm not saying fuck all. Don't earn because hello marketing numbers next reaches into VST target audience. But as the age group rappers, my music based on feelings. Exactly. Rappers don't do put in any effort. They're not investing any money into it. They don't. There's no patience. Um, what's his name with the blue hair with a boss chopper? Tristan Waters complained about the muse. Right? He used the free option. He said he can't decide when he wants to upload. You fucking can. Minimum of four weeks before you must upload. If you record a song today and you want to release it tomorrow. It's not going to be successful. A muse is doing you a free fucking favor by forcing you to wait four weeks. Because the song you record is probably cuck. You just think it's amazing. Wait. What's the goal? Song. What's the goal of the song? You like a focus in it. Will I make money? Yes or no? So that's yes, that's no. Also, let people fucking listen to your talk before you release it. I can't handle it. You record the song. Obviously, you're gonna like it. Obviously, the brother that made the beat is gonna tell you just. Because you're probably paying him for the beat. So you're paying him to like you. Obviously, your mom is gonna say, Yo, my boy, I'm so proud of you. Obviously, the girl you're putting your penis inside of is gonna say, Yo, that's dope. Obviously, the guy who would like to suck your dick after you put your penis inside of a girlfriend will tell you that that song is fucking just. Ask people you don't know what to think about your fucking music. Because the goal of music is to have people who's never heard it before listen to you. Once they listen to you and they like you, you now need to keep them. So if I play my song to five people and one of them likes it, that's success. The next time, I play it to another five people, including these five. This motherfucker might not like it, but he might come back because he liked the first one. But what if two over here likes it? And he doesn't. So now I've got two. So that's how you fucking do it. Then, you're not going to make money off of CD sales because you don't buy... Where the push to even play a CD these days? You don't even have a CD player. So don't make an album. Because if there's a whole album on Spotify... Unless your name is Eminem, maybe Joyner Lucas, maybe Kendrick, which I haven't listened to, J. Cole, which I also don't listen to, maybe Royce, which I listen to less. I'm not going to listen to the whole album. I might skim through it. You know what I mean? Then at the end of the day, I'm just going to listen to the songs that I like. If your name is Silver Cricket TV, I'm not listening to your whole album. I'm sure it's fuck not paying you 15000 for a performance. Because first of all, 
If you charge me 15,000 rand for a performance and your YouTube name is Silver Cricket TV, who the fuck are you? Not the person who I'm paying 15,000 rand to to perform. Do you know what I mean? So don't record an album. Please don't take yourself for a puss. Nobody's gonna buy an album. Except for your friends. And you, and I don't think you need pity support. Because that's not gonna, gonna, gonna make you a living, right? Uh, where was I now? I lost my fucking train of thought again every single time. I also can't give you all the fucking secrets and information here. But the main thing at the end of the day is... You need a plan for a year. This is like the, this is this is the end. There's not many of you, and I'm glad because if you want to know the truth, join, become a member, and I'll guide you and I'll show you. But you need a plan. You need at least a year. A rap rapping is a business. There's a product. The product, like comes like brain, comes to said, the product is the rapper, not even the song. You know, it's like. An MP3 player plays music, right? This is an MP3, but the MP3 player played music, so you're buying the product which makes music. Um, you're buying the keyboard which plays music. So why do some people pay a moose load of money for a keyboard? Because it does better than your average fucking toy keyboard. You know what I mean? So a mic, like this is a mini mic, you know? Why buy this one and not a cuck mic? Because the one is going to give you a better product than the other one. So the rapper is the product. People, why must people invest in this product? Why must they care about you? Why must they listen to your music and not somebody else's? You need a year to convince them to come watch you perform live. Some of you have heard of 360 deals. 360 deal is this. <coughs> it's the worst thing that's ever happened to musicians. 360 deal is where the label takes a percentage of everything that the rapper does. They get a bigger, a bigger, what the fuck's the word? Where the label gives them money up front. They get a bigger advance than any other deal. But they take the most from that. So, so, so here's how it works. If you are a rapper and that's what you want to do with your fucking music and how to make money. If you sell fucking mics, if you sell cups, if you sell fucking pens, if you sell masks, you capitalize on fucking the world being taken for a puss. Rappers capitalize on things as well. When people zone, the Kifnis capitalized on something that was funny and he made a beat. But give yourself at least a year where you learn from other musicians. You learn from people who's gone before you. Plan it out. When are you going to release your first video? All right. What do you need to do to make sure that thing has the most views ever? Why must people... Then you ask yourself, why must people watch this music video? Must you do the music video for the song? Who's on it? Why are they going to enjoy it? Why is somebody going to share this video to somebody else? Is the element in there that I would like somebody else to see? Like, these are the questions. I can't fucking make it simple to all of you. Like, you need to ask yourself, why must I share Silver Cricket TV song to somebody else to watch my Barakam Cake here? Because that's how things go viral and people have 2 million views on something. But doing something that nobody else does, that people want to see, people are like, yo, come look at this cut. It's mad. Listen to how he raps as well. So that's your first song. And then what are you going to do after that for the rest of the year? Are you just going to live off, the, off that and become a one hit? One down, say one hit because in Cape Town there's no one fucking thing. Nobody lines fucking hit. One hit. Unless your name is Costa Teach. Um, Silver Cricket TV. That's not what's... All deals, you don't get anything. What I'm trying to say is... Your money is supposed to come from performances, right? You're not going to make money selling CDs. Nobody makes money off selling CDs. Unless you're independent and then it's going to take longer than a year. You're not going to become fucking Pooh's famous Tech 9 rich. You're not going to become Tom McDonald levels within a fucking month. 
within a year. It's going to take you years to get to that. And out of all the independent artists, it's only two or three who's actually independent, actually making a living off of music. Don't believe the fucking hype. The only way to get there is time, dedication, patience, planning, and money. Then at the end of all that, your money, most of your money is going to come from live performances. The reason why we think in Cape Town that you can't, you know, we don't even know that. Lady D won't tell you that he charges 15,000 rand. He won't tell you that. The Anvil charges $200,000 for an hour. Do you think they get paid the most in the world? No. Performance is where your income is going to come from. Live performance, nowhere else. Your goal as a rapper is to have live events where you sell out. Why do you think rappers talk about a sellout crowd so many times? Would you be a sellout or sell out Cape Town fucking International Stadium? Come to comments quickly. Um, stuff, uh, can you maybe elaborate more on what you mean by keep events? <laughs> I throw events, we are a group of rappers in our place, then I throw events and pay each rapper at the end. Take rap out of it and teach a rapper business skills first, teach him marketing, the rappers mark song based on feelings. See, that's a problem. Also, we don't have enough of the type of collaboration brew like as in today. Hamster, where the fuck was it now? I was here by so that's how record labels work. Our produ Not all record labels work like that, it's only a few do that. You get the record labels, they actually help you get a living. Um, our producer, beat makers, engineers are the same person in Namibia. When I recorded in Zeta, they said that it is not the case there. Brainchild rappers, VT, VL, a target audience. Is what is the target age group? Can the audience in music afford? Can I interview with Talia? No need for that today. P.S. People think a beat maker or the sound engineer is a producer. No, then definitely not. Yeah, um, what the fucking time? Yeah, die is who my bracha robot. No, but the also royalties. No, but the loan say I can. Kerwin, they're not robbing him. He gets signed the contract. A label doesn't rob you. You know the the papers that they sign. It's a contract. It's a legal document. It's not like your bra. Has not seen what record labels do before. Yet his dream and hopes was to become a label. Uh, to sign to a label. Don't feel sorry for bra got signed to a label. And then gets upset. Because his music can't get released. We've got more than fucking 75 years. Of record labels taking people for a puss. And yeah you want to feel sorry for bra. Who got given a loan. Amount of money up front. To do something he loves. And now, they don't want him to release things. Because it's cuck. And he's not making the money. So they say, fuck you. Give me my money back. It's his own fault. Don't feel sorry for him. I have feet and cuck video for Nitra Kray. No, I don't need this video. How far is my link on YouTube? You can Google that. Um, some of the rappers say, yell yes to... For a zala rap name, a la pick name, what the means ni ends can market. If you are a rapper, don't let the beat maker who record your vocals test your lack of knowledge. If you pay the person to record you, tell him to give you the waveform and file. You're the owner of it. Mr. Miles, even if I give you the wave, I still have I still have everything. I've got the project file, I have all the stems, I have all the takes. You niggas need to sign contracts with each other. You need to pay each other first of all. That's what you need to do first. You need to actually pay each other your worth. You know? Advances is a capital loan. The total to run 90% interest. Cents of the dollar. Albums are waste. A single letter license. Promo that single. The world's open next. Yeah, but comes to also. Why does Bruder want to leave us release a song every fucking Monday? When we started Bruderbund, the plan was never to release a song every fucking Monday. Some of that became a thing, 
and we ended up doing the thing that we tried to move away from. Where you don't just fucking record and release, record and release. What is the plan? Also, people are too scared to tell each other when they rap cuck. If I have a song with you and I'm paying you and you're gonna rap cuck, I want my fucking money back. Your puss. Because I'm not using your verse. If there's five of us and we all write a verse of the song and three of them's cuck, I'm taking them off. I'm not putting it on there. Because... If you don't like me telling you versus cut, then maybe you don't, you're not right for the fucking industry. I'm here for this, brother. Four singles a year with a video for each is more than enough. Three. Give your fucking singles time to learn. Not four. Give your singles time to love. <clears throat> I'm going to say this again. You better take notes. You better pause. You better screenshot. I'm not going to say this fucking again. Here's a strategy that's going to work for you. We've got a few minutes left. I want to see 30 likes before I tell you this thing, the strategy. I'm going to tell you what works. If you do what I'm about to tell you, you're going to have an audience next time this year. 30 likes and I do it. <clears throat> At year one single a month, you have a live show for single, still performing song that I listen Single first video after, no, 25 year copy, it brands on them. If those likes don't go up, I'm not telling you how the fuck to do it. Like, they, it, it's so fucking simple. It's so fucking simple. I'm ending this thing in about seven minutes time. I need that fucking likes to be at 30 or I'm not telling you the fucking truth. I'm going to share this truth. With the members. I'm going to make a community post where I type this out. And they can have it forever. Because if you do that and you're patient enough. You're going to make money off of music. I've said this so many times. You don't need to be interviewed to be interviewed. Do you think I need any of you nice to interview me? I can interview my fucking self. Wherever the fuck I want to. And I can say that I was interviewed by whoever the fuck I said. And post that shit online. For example, two more likes and I'm telling you, remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Remember to fucking become a member because that's where the magic happens. One more like and I'll tell you. I always talk about creating economy amongst each other as an artist, paying for the artist's creative intellect, promotes quality control. Bang over on self and miss. Facts. Live on your right. The people don't even do that. I then made fucking push a lot of money on TikTok for doing this. Taser push. Your master push. And you're like, I'm also push. People get upset at me for eating snot, but they say, come see ya. Look at this mad night. He's eating his snot. He's telling you you're a push. Being down, they say pill. But they get upset for me eating my own snot. And obviously people are going to... Okay, 30 likes, let me stop. So here's how it works. For you. Today is the... 22nd of March. On the 22nd of March... 2023 I want to see if any of you have followed this okay so here's what you do get a song it mustn't be a cuck song first of all this isn't gonna work for everybody Angie Ooh is busy doing this there's a few other people that I spoke to who's about to do this you first of all need to look like a fucking superstar. You need to have something slightly different about you than the rest of the fucking planet. You know why? Because you're a fucking superstar. So that already eliminates half, almost all your basic bits, niggas, from this fucking possibility of doing this. Get a song. A stupid song. It doesn't have to be spiritual, medical, lyrical, umbilical, umbilical chord, cuck. It can be something easy. What does South Africa like? South Africa wants to fucking dance, nigga. 
So Africa wants to vibe, they want to bry, they want to drink, they want to nigh. That's what you want to do. Facts. Make a song that lots of people are going to like, whether it's home, whether it's fucking I'm a piano, whether it's trap, whether it's drill. Make the music as easy listening to as possible. The key is going to be in the music video. In the music video, you have to put something people are not allowed to see, but they want to see. Whether it's a naked fat bitch dressed up like a zebra, feeding you grapes. Whether it's you fucking yourself, Isaac Newton. Whether it's burning down a farm. Just do something people are not allowed to see, but they want to see. That will make them want to watch the fucking video again and again. That will make them take that video and show it to somebody else. That will make them share your fucking video. That will make more people get to see your fucking video. That video production quality must be next level. It's not even about the song. And you can't do it all. All you must do is do the song with people who will tell you what the fuck to do. Surround yourself with the team. Do the video. Make a video that's going to be shareable. For whatever the fuck reasons it is. Whether people say you are white trying to act black. Perfect. Whether people say you are black trying to act white. Perfect. If they talk cuck about you, they're going to share your cuck. That's step one. Then let that song live for three to four months. In the three to four months, you do three interviews every day for four months. You interview yourself. You let your friends interview you. You make different YouTube accounts for each fucking interview. You upload three to four interviews Every single day, every post day, for three to four months. In the three to four months, while you're single, that's not going viral, is loving. You pay, G-boy, you pay, fucking youngster, you pay, aka, to do a song with them. You pay them, I am the fuck much they want to do a song with you. You tell them, this isn't my song, the song is yours. You release two songs in the three to four months while a single is popping off. Poesgesig featuring or aka featuring this kak nigger that's becoming famous. Youngster featuring this kak nigger who's becoming famous. Three to four months later, your video is starting to lose a bit of energy. Your interviews are all over. There's clips all over. You have two features of popular artists. People are like, who the puss is this nigger? Also, your interviews must be mad. Imagine I'm sitting by the canteen in Valise Door. Thank you, Brain Cell. Welcome to being a main student. Imagine you're sitting by Valise Door's so canteen doing the interview. In the back, is a brat taking a piss. As he's taking a piss, he's scratching his neck and he walks away. You do stuff to make the people also go viral for the interviews. Three, four months later, you do another fucking song. Remember, you had three to four months to plan your next nicer song. Same fucking, the, the same plan. A viral. Something they must share. Look at the 12. It's not exactly the same, but it's similar. Look at what Angie Wu is doing. Just look. Her first video was cock. They did it cock. But three, four months later, the same fucking thing. You do that for a year. By your third single, by your second single, people are going to want to interview you by themselves, but you still do your own interviews, and you do no interviews for free. If somebody wants to interview and they want you to, they must pay you! If you get interviewed for TV, the people on TV gets paid, not you. If you're not getting paid, don't do the interview. Do it your fucking self. We are the TV. We are the internet. Do that again. Pay two people for singles, which is their songs, not yours. It's featuring you. And then by month eight, you drop your third song. By now, people are going to pay you to do the interviews. There's going to be people waiting for your live performance. Don't perform live yet. Wait. The third one must be a madness. 
and keep a theme. Stay in character everywhere. You're not going to have to shoot your own interviews anymore. You're going to be so fucking buzzing. People want to know why is Youngster working with him? Why is Nasty C working with him? Why is AKA want to work with him? Why is the American niggas want to work with him? Why is everybody interviewing this poos? His music isn't even that nice. But he looks nice. He's got a fucking gimmick. His videos are fucking amazing. Do you think it's by accident the Kashi 6 9 The Unvoid. Nothing's by accident, brother. There's a little bit of luck involved, but you have to do most of the work. Do that for a year. Then on the 22nd of March 2023, you drop your fourth video. And you announce your first live performance. Then it's game over. I'm going to come to the comments quick. Laverne, Ipkoi, hit a brands, tell them what you can do for them and send them your rights, commercial brands. I mean, you're an artist, you can make music for the online campaign, push on Instagram and TikTok. I always talk about creating an economy. Like I'm and I love you, right? But people don't even do that. Kawan on TikTok, everybody does that. Why do you think people make money on TikTok? True love one, but the mentality is release a song and then sit back and wait for money. Long teams need to be proactive. In the first of March, simplicity is key. Yes, drama is money. Everybody loves drama. Brainchild, I'm gonna kick you in your gesicht if you keep on retracting your comments, brother. Um, it is not these YouTube features are not available to Namibians. I can't join the groups. Silver Cricket TV, but not even to some South African users that use Capitec. I'm excited for the topic of organic growth and fucking buying, buying views and interactions. They can hire me for all direction on the music video and styling law because these motherfuckers don't even look nice for events. Facts. Kerwin is a slice bro. I can only imagine the band in there. I wear extra slab. Yeah, my guys is all right. So, thank you for everybody tuning in. Those of you like, listen to what I said. I just told you exactly how the fuck to become famous within a year. I have to go. Take my light to school. I just spooked in your fucking place. Fuck. Um, this is the business of African React. On how the fuck to make money. Watch the whole thing. Share this fucking video. Don't keep the knowledge for yourself. Everything I know I got for free through my experiences and the mistakes of others. Don't just trust one source. Always do a bit more research and just the first source that gives you con contact information. All right. First link in the chat. You'll find it there. You'll find it in the description of the video as well. Sign up, become a member. You get so many benefits. I'm not going to run through them again. Remember to subscribe. Let's grow as a fucking community where we share honesty and truth with each other. Where we're helping and create a fucking industry. Because there is no industry, unfortunately. There are a few people making a little bit of money. And one or two making a shitload of money. And not sharing the knowledge with others. Alright? Make sure people talk about you. Because they're not talking about you. You're doing something wrong. The goal of an artist. Any artist. The goal of a fucking super... If you're selling something, people must know what the fuck it is you're thinking, selling. You know? Sign up, become a member. I'm uploading three to four more videos this week. War Cry, Rands in the West, and two others. I want my main Kunain and Kotsokis to send through their suggestions. Also to schedule their one-on-one -on -one times where I go through with whatever the fuck it is you do. And I guide you and I show you how you can improve what you're doing. I know it's worth it because I got given that early in my career in what I do. And I'm not talking about music. And remember, you need to look apart. You need to, might have to change the way you look in order to make successful. Take it easy, I want to love you all. Thank you, Mr. Miles. This has been The Ought Not Hot, the South African Reacts. Safety Boots.